Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lean Academy. Lean Academy is a program in which you can learn with Leantronics to acquire useful and popular LED knowledge, even as an amateur. Today, we will introduce the power supply schemes of LED screens. Generally speaking, there are two common methods to power up LED walls. One is AC, alternating current, to DC, direct current, and the other one is DC to DC. So, how do the two schemes work differently, and what are their pros and cons, and how to choose? First of all, we shall have the common sense that the electronic circuits inside electronic products is driven by direct current. If we don't convert AC voltage into DC one, we will not be able to have the electronic products work normally, and that is what we often call AC to DC power supply mode. So do LED displays. For example, in China, the AC voltage is 220 volt. And it will be transferred into four to five volt DC voltage inside the panels. Finally, to light up the whole LED screen, AC to DC power supply scheme is the most often used as it costs less. However, it's inevitable that massive heat will be generated and accumulated internally as AC high voltage is converted to DC low voltage, especially inside the large area LED screen. This will challenge the lifespan of the LED screens and increase the risk of electric shock to operators. On the other hand, based on the traditional power supply technology, Leantronix has pioneered DC to DC power supply scheme to solve the above problems. Simply speaking, before the AC voltage enters into the LED displays, we have set up a transfer station. A communication level power supply box out of the LED screen to lower down the voltage to 48 volt to 53.5 volt. Then the step down DC voltage will get through the power boxes inside LED displays to further decrease to 3.9 volt, the suitable voltage for LED displays to run. DC to DC power supply mode will add cost, but it benefits a lot. For example, it allows power redundancy to improve the reliability for long time running. Lifeline working can be performed as it greatly reduces the potential electric shock dangers. Less heat will be generated to lower down the failure rate of LED walls. The separated communication level power supply enables to bring higher conversion efficiency and be more friendly to the environment. And also, low radiation of the power source is conducive to EMC product certification, etc. Thus, DC to DC power supply method is highly recommended. Given sufficient budget, an installation space, and a high requirement of stability, otherwise, you can choose the traditional AC to DC one. Pretty much for this topic. In the next Lean Academy, we will introduce the maintenance methods of LED screens. Please subscribe and keep with Leantronics.